All right, so I got my test results back. So this is gonna be a interesting filler week. What is my heritage? It's gonna be about me. So a long time ago, geography Ben hit me up and he works for myheritage.com. And you know, he sent in a kit for Fan Friday. I opened it up. And if you would like to take this test with free shipping, uh, there is a coupon link in the description of this box and you can use the coupon code geography. Thank you, Ben. Now I've wanted to take a DNA test for a while, mostly because I come from uh, what you might call a complicated ethnic background. See, I am what you would call a second generation hapa. What is a hapa? A hapa is someone who is half Asian. It's derived from the Hawaiian word hapa, which means half. Hawaii has a ton of hapas. I went there, I was like, whoa, I actually kind of fit in somewhere for once in my life. But anyway, long story short, both my parents are hapas. They were born in Korea between American soldiers and Korean women. My grandfathers were deployed back to the US. My parents grew up in Korea. So from a young age, I was always told right from the get go, Paul, you are half Korean. And then they always told me on your dad's side, he is half Italian. And on your mom's side, we assume her dad is Irish French. So my whole life, I thought I was Korean, Italian, Irish, French. I'm Cortala wrench. And I kind of, you know, banked off of that identity my whole life. In High school, I kind of went through this cringy like Asian phase where I tried to like reclaim my Asian heritage, I tried to like speak more Korean and then act more Korean around my friends because I thought it was cool and it made me unique. But then that kind of backfired when I actually lived in Korea amongst real Koreans and there were like, so that whole part of my life was like emotional damn it actually I should do a Korean accent emotional damage my dad was very lucky though as he got older he actually found his biological father and they reunited after all these years and before my dad passed away he was able to meet the whole family which was crazy some of them are straight up like I even did the heritage trip where I went to that one town where all my Italian ancestors came from you know the lady in the house was like super bapara boopy Italian you know she like served us coffee in a mocha pot. According to the story, I was told my great grandfather was like in the mafia and then he left the mafia because his wife was like, I'm gonna leave you if you keep doing the mafia. So he stopped mafia-ing. And then he ran away to California and became an Italian organ grinder street performer with a monkey. I don't know how he got the monkey. Maybe it was part of his severance package. I don't know. The point is I come from monkey people. Mom's side is a little more obscured with Enigma. She never reunited with her biological father shortly after she was born. He was deployed back to the US. American soldiers were not allowed to marry Korean women back in those days because it was fear of espionage. And plus it was post-war era, so you couldn't go back to a place that was recovering from war. Complicated. But my mom was told her biological father was Irish and French. You know, it's kind of interesting because out of all the pieces of my her heritage, the one I've always kind of been a little bit more drawn into has always been the French side. Weirdly enough, I don't know, just something about the culture and the people and the food and the fact that they were able to establish this empire across 13 regions of the world and manifest this francophonie community. You guys know I'm kind of a little bit of a francophile. Going into this DNA test, I was kind of hoping, look, I don't really care what the percentages are. I just hope I'm at least a little bit French. Come on. I gotta have at least a little bit, please. I mean, not trying to like sidestep the Irish and Italian and Korean stuff. I mean, it's just I don't know, something about the, I'm just drawn into the French stuff. So I took the test and uh, it's very interesting. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what the test says. So first off, let's go to the continent where I am most confident in, Asia. I mean, there's really nothing to question there. I mean, both my grandmas are straight up Korean. I know there's a little bit of a questionable stuff on my grandma on my mom's side because she said she had like a grandfather that had red hair and blue eyes. I don't know. But if you look at both my grandmas, they're super Korean. I can't question my grandmothers. So I took the test and uh, this is what it says for Asia, 25.2. 2% Japanese Korean. First of all, 25.2%? What? I thought Korean obviously would be the biggest, but I'm only half of what I thought I was. I'm like 25.2% Korean slash Japanese. They usually get lumped together because you know, your DNA stuff, but whatever. The point is it, that's substantially lower than what I thought it would be. What is the rest of Asia? Apparently Chinese Vietnamese, 17.8% Central Asian, 9.2. It's kind of like, okay, let's think of it. If you think of history, you know, of course, okay, like Genghis Khan, you know, all those dynasties, they kind of like had babies with everybody and all of, you're gonna get some kind of genetic admixture amongst Asia, especially East Asia, you know, like Koreans, Mongolians, Japanese, Chinese, they're all gonna kind of have some kind of mixture amongst each other. 
I get that. But this is pretty cool too. It's like Central Asia. So like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, all that stuff over there. So that means I could potentially have a little bit of Turkic heritage or maybe even a little bit of Persian. Who knows all that stuff over there, Central Asia. Maybe one of my great, great grandmothers was like playing around with Genghis Khan, who knows? All right, all right. So now let's move on to the next continent that I was fairly confident that I had heritage in, Europe. Cause you know, both my parents were mixed between Caucasian Americans and Korean women, so Europe. Now again, I was told I was always Italian, Irish and French, pretty confident with the Italian stuff cause I've met my Italian Italian relatives, you know, Papa Boopy. So I figured Italian was probably gonna be the largest percentage. From there, mom's side, a little shrouded in mystery, wasn't exactly sure what to expect, but I was pretty confident in Italian. I take the test and this is what it says. Oh, I got Italian, but only 6.6% and it's not even the largest one. Now here's where things get a little crazy. So then the next largest one, I'm pretty sure I got this from my mom's side, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, 8.8%. And then English, 6.5. English, Irish people, they mix a lot. So, okay, I didn't expect that, but it kind of makes sense. Then it turns out I don't even have any French. Not even 1%, not even half of 1%. I'm not even anything French. Unless you want to consider the Brittany region of France, which is technically considered part of the Celtic genetic haploid group, whatever you call it. If that's the case, then maybe by like desperate reachy default, I could claim I'm kind of maybe French if it's the Brittany province. But other than that, I didn't get any anything from France. But get this, this is what I got instead. This is the largest percentage, Scandinavian 11% percent. Scandinavian? <laughs> I did not see that coming. I'm a Viking? Literally after I got this, I, I called up everybody that I knew that was Scandinavian. I called up, I called up the Swedish people in the Swedish episode. I called up Jonas and Car Carolina. I hit up my buddy Gus. I, I'm like, hey, guess what? I'm a Viking. So this is where I thought the story would end. It did not. Apparently, uh, <laughs> this was probably the biggest shocker. I kept scrolling around and apparently I got 13 point six percent Sephardic Jewish North African. What? I'm African! Now granted, okay, Sephardic Jewish North African usually that applies to like the Arabized community or like a uh, North African Maghrebi people, but but, but, let's be real, let's be real. North Africa does have some black people, okay? There's some black people in North Africa. Let's be real, okay? Some of those Berbers are straight up black. The Nubians took over Egypt for like a whole century in what was it, the 21st dynasty or something like that? It was in my Sudan episode. The point is, my rationale is, if you're gonna be 13.6% of anything followed by African. There's got to be at least one black person in the lineage. Come on. I got to have at least one black dude or black woman somewhere along my genetics. It would really explain my hair, okay? I've had this like coarse wavy textured hair for so long. This is not Asian hair. And I swear I'm not even joking. Anytime I need like hair products, I got to go to the black people section of the store. Murray's pomade is the only thing that works on my hair. It's got the two people with afros on it, the good stuff. This is my favorite hair product. It's the only thing that works on my hair. I don't know. I'm just saying 13.6%. That's like a seventh of my genetic makeup. Come on. I know there's a little black. I can feel something black. It's like, okay, that came out wrong. And Sephardic Jewish, like, I guess I'm Jewish. Literally, I hit up Keith and I'm like, haha, mazel tov. But I'm pretty sure this has to be from my dad's side because, you know, Southern Italians, they mixed in a lot with the Mediterranean and North African communities, especially during Roman Empire times. If it's on the patrilineal side, then I don't know if I'm allowed to claim Jewish hair lineage because it's like matrilineal. I don't know. Am I, I? I don't think I'm allowed to have a bar mitzvah. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but I love matzo ball soup and gefilte fish. I'm obsessed with that stuff. I don't know how that. I did not expect that. Who knows? I might even be Maghrebi. I might be a little bit Berber. Who knows? Uh, either way, that is awesome. So this is where I thought the story would end, but it still didn't. There's one thing left. One point three percent Native American. <laughs> I don't know where this came from, most likely my mom's side, because we don't know anything about my mom's side. I, 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 wow. Here's the thing, a lot, I mean, a lot of Americans have at least a little bit of genetic admixture with the Native Americans, because that's just kind of how things happened over time. So yeah, that, uh, that, that also surprised me. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Without even trying, I already beat Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> Cheap shot. Granted, these DNA tests are not always completely accurate. There is a margin of error, but, 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 if this is in any way accurate, then that means I'm made up of four continents. That isn't, I thought it was only two, but apparently I guess 
there's four. I don't know, it kind of makes me feel like this is, uh, this kind of solidifies the fact that maybe I am meant to be in the geography world. Who knows? So basically, I'm a black Jew samurai viking Pocahontas. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna get me canceled on so many levels. But you can't, because it's literally who I am. I can say it if I am these things. Oh, the point is, this was awesome, this was fun. Who knows, if you are from any of these areas of the world, maybe I'm your cousin. This was fun, hope you guys have a good one. Stay cool, stay tuned.